Today we continue Spooky Week with more spooky products. What is up, my spooky friends? Ah, uh, okay, that was weird. Uh, let's just keep going. <laughs> We have a couple of awesome old school-ish items. You know, they're about 10, 12 years old. We have a Prophecy Destroyer 10. I think this is 2012. Is that right? Yeah, so 12 years old. Pretty old at this point. That contains five booster packs that all could pull ghost rares. But that's not enough for a video. So I have an entire Storm of Ragnarok Special Edition. So we could pull, this is from 2011, Ghost Rare Odin or Max C, which is... Really spooky if you talk to any modern meta player in the TCG or that plays Master Duel. Maxi's probably gonna spook them out a little bit. They're like, ah, oh, Maxi, ah, oh, get away from me. We could pull that in here. So those two items are gonna be open in this video. Hopefully we will get a first ghost rare of Spooky Week. We have to get at least one, right? We have to get at least one. And there will be several more videos coming up as we make our way toward Halloween where I will be dressing up as a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Yes, this will be a first time on the channel. I have been Sir Ruxin, but he's not a Yu-Gi-Oh character, so it doesn't count. All right, how are we gonna do this? I think I'm gonna save the Prophecy Destroyer for the end because it's five different packs. It's gonna be fun. There's promos in there. So we'll save that one for the end, 2012-10. Let's open up this special edition of Storm of Ragnarok and get to it. And because these take forever, I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to pull out the packs because, you know, if you open every special edition one at a time. It can take a really long time. And we have a 10 after this as well. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to keep you guys here all day, though. The Halloween video is probably going to keep you there all day because I'm planning a lot of packs to be open. So it's going to be a fun, long video. If you guys like, like long videos, keep an eye out on Thursday, Halloween. I hope I have the right day of the week. It is Thursday, right? I think it is. But knowing me, I'm a YouTuber, guys. I don't know the days of the week. I mean, that's just how that works. You don't, you just kind of, every day is the same for us. All right, guys, I actually did something a little different. So I opened it like this, and then I just poked holes in all the other ones. So we'll be able to open them a little easier. So we're going to go through one at a time still, uh, just because it does, takes like seven minutes for me to open those up in a row. And I'm kind of antsy. I want to open up these packs. And I want to get a Light and Darkness Dragon promo. It's pretty nice. Just got a QCR print in the Mega Tens, which was pretty cool. Storm of Ragnarok. I have not opened this a lot recently. We have opened this a lot on the channel. Like, not a lot, a lot, but, you know, a decent amount. But, uh, and it's been a little bit since we've opened it, and we have definitely not pulled a Max C in a long time. I don't remember the pack trick. I think it's flippity flop, but for now, we're gonna just start like this. Our glass of Courage. Let's see, Tiki Curse. That may, that may or may not be used this week in a duel. Uh, that might be coming up. Uh, Asceticism. Shan Squire. So that didn't tell us anything at all. Fun part about this uh, Storm of Ragnarok Special Edition, a lot of you guys, if you're old school fans, know because we used to open these kind of special editions all the time. No ratios, completely random. We might pull a ton of foils. You just don't really know with these. So let, okay, chill out. These, man. iPhone 16, your camera is weird, okay? I don't get you. I don't know why you are like this, but you love to just focus in, out, focus in, out, out, out. It's so annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So yeah, not, uh, I thought when I was getting the iPhone 16, it was like, yeah, this will be great for like, you know, the fact that I use it to record things. Apparently not. Apparently it's not gonna help anything at all. Okay, Needle Ball, Token Stampede, Temple of the Six. Okay, so it is Flippity Flop. That's our first super rare. Pretty nice card. We'll take that Shin's Daredevil. I remember that coming out in Duel Links. I know, I know, Duel Links. Yeah, Ruxin and Duel Links. All right, let's see if I can pull this thing. Okay, I thought this was gonna speed it up. Okay, it did help a little bit. Still took me a little bit. We didn't have to pull the knife out constantly, which is nice. So that'll help. Okay, there's another promo. It's Hand of the Six Samurai. All right. So two, I think two different promos in here. Is that what it says? It does, I can't see right there. We'll check in a second. Flippity flop, we now know the pack trick. No ghost share so far, but Odin Ghost would be huge. Ulti would be huge. The Max C would also be huge. It would scare a lot of you guys who are playing current TCG. Like, no, don't bring it back, please. Master Duel. I saw that in OCG. It's limited to two now. Semi-limited, you could call it. As the Manless Expert, I will. Uh, and then, of course, in Master Duel, it's available at three. So <laughs> uh, I have been playing a little bit more Master Duel. I have seen a little Max C. I don't think it's actually... Is it in my deck? No, it is. I just haven't been playing on the ladder. I've been playing the uh, Dual Triangle event, which has the... Loner decks, which do not actually use Maxi, or at least the one I have, which is the Shadal deck, does not use Maxi. Token Sunday, Blackwing, Kagamusha, Needle Ball, Kara Curry, we have Worm Jet Eclipse, a Legendary Six Samurai Kageki, and Scrap Shark. 
So far we have one foil out of five packs. Not an amazing start. As I said, the ratios are completely random. You can get zero. You can get, you know, every packet have a foil. You just really don't know in these special editions. But as of right now, we do know that we're one for five, which is not a great start. Uh, more Karakuri. Solemn Authority. Divine Wind. Tiki Curse. Mimir. Diverge. And Forbidden Lance. That's a good card. Does this have an ulti? Or is that... I know Forbidden Chalice does. I don't know if Lance has an ulti. If it does... I don't think it has an ulti. I think it's just a super. That's a pretty solid one. But wasn't Lance recently printed in something? Or maybe I'm thinking of a video where I opened it or something. I can't remember. I think maybe we had it in an auction series or something. I can't really remember. You guys seem to like the auction series episode. Glad to see that for the 250k. You guys have missed the 250k stuff so far. Make sure you guys go check it out. And don't forget to check out the upcoming Bonanza. There's another Light and Darkness Dragon. Bonanza is coming out next week. It's going to be a Bonanza. It's going to be really amazing, I think. The side set or the, uh, the what do they call it? The inserted set, basically. The 200 card nostalgia set is going to be really amazing. So go check that out. Uh, use Sassy Auto affiliate link. You get 5% five five off. Man, I cannot speak. If you guys use that, it's an affiliate link with me. Go check that out. Blackwing. Very excited for that. It's going to be super fun next week. We are doing a bunch of big streams next week. Yeah, we are doing a bunch of big streams next week. We have uh, the Rarity Completion set. We're going to do Bonanza. All like 900 cards. So yeah, I need a binder that actually fits that. I haven't even really thought about that. So uh, if anybody has a big binder that they can sell me or direct me to, that would help. Maybe I could get it here on time. That's going to be crazy. We're also doing two Whatnot streams, one for Bonanza, one for Whatnot Card Show, which is, is not yet confirmed, but there's an Ultra Rare, not a great one. Not yet confirmed, but it's going to be something, I think it's going to be something we've never opened before. Yeah, you well, what what have we never opened? I know, yeah, we've opened like everything. I have not opened this. So I'm very excited to potentially do this. It could be coming up next week. I think it's next Friday. We have on Thursday, we have Bonanza. Friday, we have that special vintage um whatnot card show stream, and then we're gonna finish it by completing Bonanza. It's it's gonna be quite the three days in a row. All right, well, I didn't read this earlier. World Championship 2011. This is where they had the World Championship 2011 packs, right? Think you got what it takes to be the World Champion? Two finalists will visit Tokyo, Japan to compete in the title of World Champion. You get World Champion. And that's where you got the uh, Alligator Sword. You guys remember that? Alligator Sword Super Rare, which is really expensive. Another Light and Darkness Dragon. That's a lot of those. Put those in the Edison box. Storm of Ragnarok. So far, it's been a fun video. Been a fun week of ghostly openings. But guess what? We still need a ghost. It's not that spooky until you get spooked by the ghost. Tyrant's tirade. We've got a little super battle droid action. Zero force. Man, these cards do not want to slide. Scrap shard, blood sucker. That's pretty, pretty spooky. And Karakuri, gold dust. Gold! Golden dust. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Heart of the cards. Give us a hit. Here we go. Watt key, we're in Jet Eclipse. Six Samurai, uh, Lucky Matt, please bless us. I know Ruxin's getting <gasps> ultra rare. That was a ultra Rux or a super Ruxin special. Or no, that was just a Ruxin special. Never mind. Uh, Atomic Scrap Dragon, not amazing either. There are some good ones in here, but we're not really pulling them at the moment. And speaking of the Matt, the Ruxin Matt, uh, it is available on Whatnot. It is a Whatnot exclusive. There is a limited number. Uh, we did sell quite a bit last week on the Whatnot show. So they are going to be going out, you know filtering out so give get yours now if you guys would like and use your 15 free credit if you guys are a new user to whatnot then you guys can get this mat at a ten dollar price which is pretty awesome so check those out i'm really happy with our first two pieces of merch i i now have an idea for um shirts and like maybe like a hoodie or sweatshirt or something like that i've come up with an idea that is i think i like because i had an idea before it almost I almost released it and then I decided not to go forward with it. So now I have another one that I actually think I like better that I think will just uh, it'll fit. It'll fit well. So I'm excited for that one. That one might be coming up fairly soon. I'm still working through it, you know, deciding. I Problem with me is I think of an idea and then I just sit there. And I'm like, eh, should I really do that? Would it really be good? You know, it's like, eh. and then eventually usually it is good when I just do it. But Sometimes I, you know, take a while to do it. So that's kind of what's going on with those. That merch, you know, shirts and stuff. Because mats kind of fit, you know, all you guys. Because you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and playing Yu-Gi-Oh. But shirts are maybe a little bit harder to sell. But I kind of just want some, like, for myself, you know. So 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe figure it out. One, two, three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. We haven't gotten a single like high rarity card yet, but ultras and supers, which are, I mean, they are still not easy to pull in this, but no ultimates, no secrets, no ghosts so far. We have aestheticism. Worm King, another super rare little worm action. This is the halfway point of the special edition. Wow, these uh, these don't go by super fast. Let's just say that. Okay, flippity flop, floppity flip. Can we get the ghost rare, our first spook of the week cyber shield cosmic it is i mean ghost rares are hard to pull but they are not starlight rares which you know came later but they're still much harder than like qcrs which are currently going on for who knows how much longer because i know they're doing them in bonanza and then they're doing them in the darkness set the uh supreme darkness or whatever it's called so they are doing them for a little bit longer the qcrs so i don't know what's gonna happen with that okay another hand of the six samurai let's see storm of ragnarok can you storm the ragnarok here i don't know what that means can you storm our brains with amazingness with excitement here we go divine water Cyber Shield, Terminal World, whoa, and a Legendary Six Samurai, Kazan. Kazan used to be a six, a five, six dollar super, maybe even 10 at one point. Surely it's been reprinted since then. If it hasn't, that's probably our best pull so far because that was a big pull for a while. I'm sure that got a reprint a long time ago because like last time we were opening this a lot was like 2020. There's no way it's been four years and they haven't reprinted that card. Legendary Six Samurai, Kageki, and a Chaos Hunter. At least we got a secret rare. This one's okay, but I... Wasn't this in rarity? I think this was in rarity, so probably not that great. It used to be a pretty decent card in terms of value, but I think rarity uh, reprinted it a bunch, so it will not be very expensive anymore. Still a high high uh, rarity card. We'll take it. We will sit. I just did a crazy pack trick right there. Okay, Shin Soldier. Tyrant's Tirade, Watt Mole, Nordic Relic, Kalima, Resonator Engine, Token Sunday, Foolish Return, and Nordic Return, Nordic Relic. There we go. All right, Hand of the Six Samurai, very nice. Storm Ragnarok, can we pull something ghostly? So far, the Ghost Rare Spooky Week, I mean, it's not really Ghost Rare Week anyway, it's just spooky, you know, so it's not necessarily, but I mean, the spookiest part is the Ghost Rare. But we haven't really seen much Ghost Rare. We've seen sets that could have Ghost Rares, but we have not seen the ghosts themselves. So I'm hoping that very soon we can break that trend. Ghost Rare Time, Tired Star I have a hiccup, a bur slash burp. Do you guys get the hiccup slash burps, or is that just me? Is that is that a uh, Temple of the Six? That's a double. I think that might just be an acid reflux thing. I get this thing where it's like, it feels like you're going to hiccup, and then and you also have a burp at the same time. It's very uncomfortable. I'll say that. I don't like it. And it happens all the time. It hasn't even... It, I, oh. What kind of Ruxin special is this? Because this is like worse than an Ultra Ruxin special. We are not even done doing the pack trick, and I've already flipped a card over. Because <laughs> that's what we're supposed to do. So, I, I mean, there is a secret rare right there. <laughs> of course, when I do it, it's a secret rare. The Venatus, the Nordic Ascendant. It's a secret. I'll take it. Uh, we've gotten two secrets. None of them are max C. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, so we have the Super Ruxin Special, which is where you Ruxin Special, you know, pass one card. That's, you know, the normal one. Or the Ruxin Special, I mean. Th that's just the Ruxin Special. The Super Ruxin Special is where you Ruxin Special pass multiple cards, like two or three cards, to get to the rare. The Ultra Ruxin Special is where you do the pack trick and you put the, the foil to the front, like by accident, and that's the first card you see. That might be the secret Rux is special, because I mean, it did reveal a secret rare, so it kind of checks out. The secret Rux is special where you reveal the secret before you even flip the cards over. Like that is, that's hard to do right there. That takes skill. Okay, the, the six samurai. That might be the worst one I've ever done. So uh, we don't have an ultimate Rux is special or a ghost Rux is special yet. I've never Rux is special to ghost, which would be, uh, I don't think I have. Have I? Surely not. What's the best card of Rux and Special? Didn't I? The bet? No. The best card I that I Ultra Rux and Special was when we put the uh, Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card to the front. Who remembers that? That was definitely the worst one I've ever done. There's a Stardust Shimmer. That's okay. Super rare. That was definitely the worst one because that was one of our biggest pulls ever, and I put it right to the front of the pack. <laughs> that was terrible. That was really bad. So uh, yeah, I would say that's definitely the worst. And it was an ulti too. So like. Eesh, that was really bad. That's still in my collection, by the way. I got that thing in the binder. I saw it the other day, and I was like, man, that was good times. Tiki Curse, it was... 
Was that out of one of the, uh... Was it out of the Samurai Assault? Is that where we got it? Or was it out of, a uh, Blister Strike NES? Because I did open a bunch of those, too. I think it was Samurai's Assault, but I can't remember. I'll have to go back and find that at some point. It wasn't even that long ago. I think it was like 2023, 20, and I already can't remember. That's what we call getting old. You guys can relate, because you guys are all old. I know you guys are like, going to be in the chat like, no, I'm not old, but you guys are just... You guys know. You guys know right now. You're like, crap, he's right. We're getting old. Like, man, look, I know my, my target demo, guys. We're all like the same age, okay? We're all around 25 to 34, okay? Uh, that's that's a lot of us. If you're 25, you're still a young, a young lad out there. You're still kicking. You're, you're good to go. You got many years. The rest of us, more toward the 30 to 34 range. Yeah, we're feeling it a little bit. All right, Light and Darkness Dragon, very nice. We got two more of these. Didn't we have the Prophecy Destroyer 10? It's been a fun video. It's going to be end up being pretty long, I think. So enjoy it. If you like the long videos, we have had a lot of long videos on the channel recently, mostly because of Wheeled Goats, which has been a blast. And we're almost to episode 20, which is pretty crazy. 20 episodes. Oh, there we go. She in. This got a QCR print in the Mega 10 as well, I think. So that's very cool. QCR she in. And ulti would be big. That That is in here. I know that for a fact. So maybe it's only the ultras in here, ultis or something. I I should know this by now. Uh, I just I just haven't figured it out, or I, I haven't really remembered. I guess cash cash. Wait, that's not cash cash. Cash cash is the one. Oh, it is cash cash. What's the what's the foil one that I never know is a foil out of here? It's a trap card and it's a car curry card and it's like cash shed maybe. <gasps> Wait, is that our? No, that goes there. We pulled a blank card. It's a blank like test print card before they put anything on it. That's so cool. It's like the card style. Oh, that's so sick. It's not as cool as when you pull the actual test print, but it's still really cool because it's just Yu-Gi-Oh card stock with nothing on it. So very cool error opening. All right. That's our first spooky pull. Kind of spooky. You know, no card on there. And a zero four. So let's check this out. That's our spookiest pull of the day for sure. Ooh, where did the card go? Ooh. All right, last one here before the 10. We have a Light and Darkness Dragon. Can we get a Maxi or a Spooky Spooky Odin? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Spooky scary. All right, flippity flop, floppity flip. Heart of the cards. Give us the Ghost Rider. Here we go. Tiki Soul. Sheehan's Daredevil. And Nordic Relic. Okay, not doing much for us there. Two packs. All right, that just got ripped up really bad. Uh, one, two, three. Come on, Ghost Rare. Two packs left before we get to the Mega 10. And the promos, which, which will be in there. Warm Illidan. Token Stampede. We have Shanae. Shan's Game Hope for Escape. And Six Stripe Triple, Imp Triple Impact. No ultis yet in this set. I'm trying to remember. The big ulti, I think, is Shein. Uh Odin's pretty nice. It's not like crazy money, but it is the cover card, so very cool. Last pack, Magic, before we get into... The 10. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I may or may not be feeling Last Pack Magic because I literally felt it. Legendary Six Samurai and Nishi. That is an ulti. Last Pack Magic into an ulti. And the Legendary Six Samurais are pretty decent. Six Samurai. It's not Six Samurais. It's incorrect. It's like Jedi's or Jedi. It's Jedi, obviously. You know what I'm saying? This is a good pull. A really good pull. I could feel this. This texture is crazy. I like put the last card there. I was like, whoa, this card is super textured. All right. What a way to end that one. Pretty decent overall. We got ulti. We got a couple secrets. Our first ever secret Rux and special. Now we have the Prophecy Destroyer. Team. All right. Let's see what we can get out of this 2020 12. 2020 12. 2012 10. Here are the promos. I could open them up, but we can just read what they are on the back. Let's see. We have uh, Secret of Prophecy Destroyer, four cards, uh, in Infernity Barrier, Seal Storm Ropes, Endless Decay, and Photon Strike Bouncer. I don't think that's worth opening. Nothing too crazy. No Maxi or anything, which I think was 2011. Maybe they had Maxi in one of the tins as a super rare. Pretty sick. There was BLS in 2010, I think. So they had some fire cards for a while. These are not bad, but they're going to keep it sealed. Okay, five packs. Any first tens? I think they're all unlimited. Okay, Photon. Shockwave, Order of Chaos, and Galactic Overlord. These are all fun sets. All could have Ghost Rares. They're out of a 10, so you never know. What might be pulled? Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
No, I don't do four. I do three flippity flop, I think. Flippity flop, maybe. Ghost rare time. Armor ninjutsu. Evil tile. Galaxy storm. Armored. Air armor ninja, I should say. Galaxy wave. Wind up honeybee. Insector dragonfly. Starlight. Starbright. Is not a card I will see tonight. Well, I did see. I guess I did see it. It's a card I will see tonight. Four packs left. Guys, if you have not subscribed yet, if you guys are enjoying Spooky Week and you want to see more, subscribe for the next few days. It's coming up. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Photon Circle. Earth Armor Ninja. Sweet Corn. Zen Maelstrom. Weights and Zen Measures. And Photon Trident. Over two on the Orcs packs. Galaxy or Galactic Overlord. I don't think I've ever opened this kosher. I hadn't opened Orcs either, but none of these I've actually pulled from a legit pack. You guys know about the Photon Hypernova one. You guys, not Photon Hypernova, Photon Shockwave one. Photon Hypernova, a little bit newer. There's a Boon. That's a cute little pig. Influencer Dragon. Hieratic Seal. Moonlit. Doom Donuts. Nitwit. Okay, you don't do Flippity Flop. Tasuke Knight. Sasuke. Sask, Sasuke is Ske, so Tasuke. Is it Tasuke Knight? Because if you say Sasuke like Sasuke, then that would be Tasuke, right? I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how you pronounce them. Two packs left in this opening. It's been a fun one. We've had some good pulls. This tan is one super rare, not too crazy. Let's see if we can get something really big here. Influencer Dragon again. Whoa, he's an Influencer Morpho. Commander, Lady of D, oh my goodness. Photon Papal Operative, pretty great card. An ultimate rare, you see, guys see that right there? A little bit of shine, a little bit of that uh, texture on there. It's an XCs. Number 25, Force Focus. I have once pulled this in Ultra with a crazy name shift uh, back in the day. You guys might remember that if you're longtime fans. That's a very cool card. All right, ultimate rare out of a 10, that's a W. That is what we call a W, and you know what's a huge W is Photon Shockwave giving us a ghost rare in this right here. Second day of Spooky Week. There's been some spookiness, you know, Xyz could be considered a little spooky, maybe. That's a Ruxin Special. Wind Up Warrior, we've seen all kinds of Ruxin Specials today. Needle Sunfish, Rabbit Dragon, Tribe Shocking Virus. If you guys have enjoyed the video so far, subscribe to the channel. Check out the mat on Whatnot. Grab yourself one. It is a Whatnot exclusive mat. Go check out Ruxin34.com if you want to support the channel. Here we go. Oh, don't forget the rest of Spooky Week. We've got three more days coming up. And Evo Miracle. All right, so two Ultimate Rares. Pretty amazing opening, and hopefully we'll get even more amazing in the next few days. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextic, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.